Hi, my name is Gwyn James. Uh, I work for Cox Agri. Uh, although I work full time for Cox, um, I've got over 20 years experience working on my family farm in West Wales. Uh, today I want to introduce the Philips Repeater Injector. It's the, Philips is the number one selling injector worldwide. It's a very, very simple system to use. Uh, I just want to run through some of the benefits of the product. This is a 25mm repeater, we also do a 50mm repeater as well. So it's very simple to use, basically you've got no bottle attachment and no pipe coming off it. The advantage, there are advantages obviously to the bottle, the bottle mount and the pipe, but the major disadvantage is it's unwieldy, uh, it's, not, it's not as simple to use. If you're using it in a crush situation, you can quite easily smash the bottle and lose the product, which is expensive. Also with the, with the pipes coming off the back, when you're bending down, they always tend to get in your way. And also, if you've got wild sheep about and they catch it, again, you lose the product either down your front or on the floor. So with this, you've got no ball attachment, no pipe coming off. To fill it, you've always got a bottle of vaccine or other product you're using. Needle on the end, push the needle into the bottle, pull this handle back, and just draw it off to fill the barrel. Really simple. Move this forward. And you adjust the increments you want then. So if you're doing a vaccine, you're probably looking at about 2 mil. You're doing uh, breeding stock. And simply ratchet it off. Really simple. Needles, you can put uh, uh, disposable or non-disposable needles on the end, uh, plastic or metal. They basically just screw straight in. There's a thread in there. And then to get them off, you can, you can either unscrew them, unscrew the cap, which will release it, or it comes with a handy little, little spanner for undoing the needle. Spare needles can also go in the back. Needles aren't supplied with it, <laughs> but they do fit in the back. Uh, ideal, especially if you're away from the farm. Many times you're injecting and an animal suddenly moves, you can bend the needle, so you simply just grab a new one and it fits five needles in the back. The 25 mil repeater um, has got increments half a mil increments from half a mil up to two and a half mil. The 50 mil uh, goes from one mil up to five mil on one mil increments. So both can be used for sheep and cattle. Generally, people are using a 25 mil for sheep, especially if they're doing lambs with the smaller injectables. Uh, also, with pigs, if you're doing an iron injection, you want to go right down to half a mil, you can do that. If you're doing large batches of ewes, obviously the 50 mil will give you more time between the refills. It's ideal in a crush scenario, because very often you've got animals, quite wild, big animals in a crush. You can reach in, upside down, whichever shape, reach over, and just inject it off really simply. Cleaning the repeater, obviously with the, when putting injectables through uh, any uh, injecting um, gun, you want to be cleaning them regularly. With this, simply pull back, unscrew the handle, and clean it. Really simple. Because it works off the vacuum, there's no valves involved, so you have no valves to clog up, no valves that need replacing. Okay? Also means you can put any thickness of product through there, like I said, right down to the very, very thin iron injections, right through to the vaccines. Any thickness of product will go through it. If they're oily or if they're water-based, no problems. That back on. Now the first thing that everybody always asks me when they see this is how robust is it? And you see that this is flexible, so obviously the first thing you think this is going to break. It's designed to be, it's been tested to 100,000 injections uh, with no problems. This uh, is actually flexible, so if it was rigid, it'd be more likely to snap. You can actually bend this right round to that front of the gun without breaking it. And I have got a video proving that point. Robustness of if you drop it or if you happen to drive over it, it's been tested with a Land Rover on concrete over the barrel and over the handle, and it just does nothing to it. You can also, with an extreme amount of force, break this part here. And if that happens, it simply screws back in. It doesn't damage the thread. So for the money, you're getting something that is very long-term, very, very robust. When you're injecting um, vaccines, obviously needle uh, cleanliness is something you've got to be careful of. Um, Philips uh, recommend you either have a spare needle in the top of a vaccine bottle, 
or swap needles. Alternatively, for a simple solution, you can just unscrew the end and put the steromatic system on the end, which cleans the needle after every injection. The simple way of doing it. Thanks for listening. Um, the Phillips repeater is available from 9 through 95% of agricultural uh, merchants in the UK. For further information, uh, please visit our website, uh, coxangry.com. Thank you.